Our next guests are two hot young stars who are bringing fantasy, swords, and sorcery back to television. They are the stars of the highly anticipated new series, Legend of the Seeker. Here to talk about their adventures are Craig Horner and Bridget Regan. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thanks for having us. First of all, congratulations on your new show. It's based on the fantasy novels by Terry Goodkind, The Swords of Truth. Can you tell us a little bit about the series? Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, like you said, it's based on the Sword of Truth series, a book called Wizard's First Rule, and uh, it's a fantasy show, um, but, uh, you know, it's got uh, that epic movie quality about it, yeah. but you'll get it in your uh, TV in every week. So, had either of you read the books before working on this project? Not before. Craig, had you heard of them? Or oh, no, we, we, we read before working on the project. Yeah. Uh, we hadn't read before the auditions, mm -hmm. our initial auditions. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we had a bit of time. Actually, we had quite a bit of time to really prep. So we yeah. really went to that book. Well, the books are, have been very popular and fans yeah. have been waiting a long time to see them on screen. How do you think the series will translate to television? I think it's going to be great. I mean, the they're certainly adding a lot of new adventures that aren't in the book at all. And um, but the characters that we play, um, Richard and Kaylin, we're really sticking to the heart of them. So um, fans of the book will get to see Richard and Kaylin brought to life, but with um, new adventures. Mm. It sounds so great. Let's talk a little bit about those characters since you just mentioned them. Craig, you play a young woods guide, right, named Richard Cipher, and Bridget, you play Kaylin Amnell, yes. who is a confessor. Now, what is that woods guide confessor? Can you explain <laughs> what you guys do? Uh, yeah, well, uh, Bridget could probably explain uh, the confessor <laughs> part, but uh, I mean, mine's pretty self-explanatory, you know. I'm your simple kind of uh, guy from a, a land of uh, no magic, and what you see is what you get where I come from. And uh, he, Richard doesn't know what a confessor is. I mean, he meets this girl and she tells him, I'm a confessor. He just goes along with it and, and gets taken to this magical world. So what is a confessor? Well, a confessor is um, its an order of women that are born with this power. And I have the ability to touch someone and make them basically fall in love with me completely and do anything that I say. Bridget so. has that ability in her real life as well. Sounds great. <laughs> so it's a, it comes with a cost, though. I have to tell you, it costs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's certainly not easy for Kaylin to do, but... Um, She's carrying a heavy burden. Right, yeah. Yeah. that sounds like a tough one. Mm. Well, so anyway, so your lives cross and you end up mm -hmm. needing each other, maybe in some unanticipated ways. Is there a budding romance? You know, I think that there's a chemistry right there to begin with, <laughs> with the two of them. Um, but from the start, it's forbidden love. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. I, I mean, there are people from two completely different worlds that mm. are brought together mm. um, to fight this evil force that is um, trying to take over the world. Mm. So um, they're on this journey together, and um, the interesting about them is that they both really need each other and depend upon each other a lot. And um, really have each other's back, oh, literally. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. We'll just have to tune in to get to get any more details, right? Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit, because this is an adventure s uh, series with a lot of action sequences. I mean, did you guys have to learn how to ride horses and sword fight, all that yeah. good stuff? Yeah, yeah. We um, we were lucky enough, fortunate enough to work on the uh, horse wranglers and the uh, stunt coordinators who worked on Lord of the Rings and uh, big epic films like yeah. that. So we were in really, really best good hands. Best of the best. Yeah, best good of the teachers. best. Good teachers. And we had about six weeks prep uh, before we started yeah. shooting so we spent mm -hmm. that time wisely we went out horse riding every day went out fighting every day <laughs> and uh, yeah it's becoming a second nature skill now, yeah. <laughs> and you guys shot down in New Zealand is that right which seems to be the country of choice for, for epic movies and TV series these days it's the perfect backdrop because um, we do shoot outside so much and in these gorgeous forests and beaches and mountain ranges yeah, and rolling and hills and everything. Lines. So um, we feel quite lucky to be filming there and it does feel meant to be. It does look beautiful and yeah. has that perfect sort of period look to it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now both of you have had numerous TV roles before this, but this series is on a much larger scale. What's it like being part of such a big production? Uh, it's amazing because <laughs> everyone so cool. down there is doing every department, whether it's wardrobe, mm -hmm. uh, lighting, the cinematography, Photographers, everyone's doing 110 yeah. percent to make. I mean, you've got to make this thing look big, you know. It is big. If you're wearing yeah. some half-ass costume, it's <laughs> not really working. You'll be like, "What am I doing?" I mean, yeah. look at me. This is really weird, you know. But because it is a fictional world, but yeah. they have to make it believable yeah. with all these details sure. and make it really um, uh, like a place that you can believe in. And they do that. Art department, you know, the special effects, everything, just totally top-notch film quality. 
Now, I've just got to know, did either of you play Dungeons and Dragons as a kid? <laughs> um, <laughs> Craig? Uh, look, look, maybe, no. uh, maybe no. I, I was a bit of a geek as a kid, and uh, yeah, I was definitely into the fantasy and the sci-fi kind of thing. I was thing, in a so. musical theater, which is pretty geeky, <laughs> right? <laughs> in a totally different... We were geeks in different ways. Yeah, definitely a geek, just not that kind of geek. Yeah. Well, this is your chance to play it out in <laughs> kind of, sort of real life, as it were. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, it's it, a total dream. We get to play these awesome characters. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, tell us quickly. We don't have a lot of time, but what's next for you both? Do you get a break from filming now? We're in the thick of it. Oh. Uh, when we're done with this publicity circuit, it's like the, the day we get back, uh, we start shooting. So it's yeah. full on. Uh, we're up to about ep 10. We've got a total of 22 episodes. This so we'll season, be shooting yeah. through, through till um, uh. April. All right. Well, yeah. we wish you so much luck. Thank Craig, you. Thank Bridget, you. Thanks, thanks for so having much. us. Thanks Thank so much for joining us today. Awesome. Bye. See ya. And you can check out Legend of the Seeker November 1st. Check local listings and time and channel. That's all the buzz we have for you today. Make sure to check us out on demand at the entertainment section at abcnews.com. I'm Tanya Rivero in New York. Thanks for watching this edition of What's the Buzz.